Hi everyone. Wow, I think this is my first video of 2021. This has been a really crazy year for all of us at Tokyo Pen Shop and I'm assuming it's been a crazy year for you too. I hope you're all doing really well. Since it's been a long time since I've done a video, I decided what I wanted to do was all of my like favorite things that I'm loving pretty much on a daily basis in the last, you know, handful of months. New things that have come in that I've just totally loved for myself and just kind of like take you through some of my current favorites. So it might feel a little bit like a what's in my pin case video, but it's actually more like a what's in my Idra. So this was a case that when we visited the Milu workshop in Greece, we asked them if they could make an enclosed, what they, they make like a purse insert, and we asked if they could make an, a zippable enclosed one for us. So that's what the Idra is. It was basically born on that trip, and it was named after an island we all went to together. So this is really a personal piece for us. So your the Idra can hold up to a B5 size notebook. I have some B6 and personal size organizers in here as well as some um sticker folders and sticker albums and I'll kind of show you what's in those but so I've got mine pretty well stuffed usually so it is you know can get pretty thick but if you're somebody who just carries around a more minimal amount like that you know you can, it'll basically not be so thick looking but just to let you know, it does fit quite a bit more and that's how I do it. So I just wanted to show you how I really use it, which is usually stuffed full like this. And well, why don't I just start with these things I've pulled out already. So I, this is the first year in like 20 years that I've really gotten into ringed binders or sorry, ringed um, planners. Um, and what I love to do, I don't really like showing my, hold on. <laughs> I don't really like showing my personal pages. <clears throat> but what I love to do is actually round my corners using this Kado Motto Fit. So I'll link all of these things that I've been loving in the description box below. Um, they're available on our site. So this is the Kado Motto Fit and I love it. It's super easy to use and I love these rounded corners it gives. Okay. This is one of the Midori stamps that I use most frequently, and this is the month's stamp. So I'll just show you. No, no, this might be like overshowing, but I just simply do that on the top of a lot of my organizing pages, and I've just really been loving it. I've also been, this is so random, this is not that new, but I've also been really loving these guys. I've been using these in several planners, these little kitty page flags, and I'm not even a cat person, but I just love the colors, and I don't know, just, those are very cute, and so those are a couple Midori items that I've been really into. I think this video is going to feel a little random. So while I'm in here i i'll just kind of talk about my most frequently used pens in here now this is just a older body of sarasa grand i usually change this up depending on my mood but what i've been doing that i love so much is the new sakura ball sign id vintage colors which come in both 0.4 and 0.5 so they look like this um, 
these gorgeous colors. We have swatches on our website, so go look at the swatches. They're so lovely, especially the mysterious black, which is like a really, really dark, lovely, purpley black. They also come in refills. So, so you, you don't have to buy the whole pen and take out the inside like, like you have to do with some of the others. You can just buy the refills in both 0.4 and 0.5 and, and it will fit in your Sarasa Grand. So I've been really enjoying doing that. You know, I hope some of you decide to give that a try because really lovely colors. So that kind of explains that. Now I wanted to get another pen loop in my organizer here. So I just took the, I forget what this leather flap at the front of these is called, but <laughs> I, this is a, you know, just the Traveler's Company pen loop. I'm sure this is not innovative at all. I, I always feel like a genius when I figure out these things that the whole like planning community has already figured out years ago. But I just stick it on here, that way I can have a whole nother pen fitting well inside of my personal wide organizer here. Now this one, oh my gosh, this has been one of my other just absolute favorites lately. So this is the Friction Knock Biz and it now comes with this gorgeous like rose gold trim let me show you so i chose this pink color but i really want the white one too if i'm being honest so it comes in these colors now and i love the addition of the rose gold trim isn't this white one gorgeous so these are just so lovely and now they are using the point knock synergy tip inside them now what i do it comes with black and i really like the blue black refill so i just get the refill and put it in the blue black refill and put it in my friction pen and why don't i just show you because why not and i'll go So I use this for tracking and charting in my in my organizer and because a lot of times like say I'm tracking my caffeine well maybe later in the day my caffeine you know maybe my caffeine level let's say I'm tracking it like this and maybe later in the day I have some more caffeine that I wasn't planning on having and so then I can totally just you know change it up without having to make a mess in my planner. So that's one of the reasons I really like using this with my planner. Let me zoom back to normal here. Yeah, so I'll post this below and the, the refill, but yeah, this is just, I love these. They, they have a marbly looking body in this pink, white, a black, and that gorgeous navy. If, if I ever get around to doing a an advanced kit, I feel like some of these higher end nice pins should be in there. Now it is not cheap, but it is a it is a lovely pin, and it's this just great weighted body, but like not too heavy. It's just it's perfect. I love it. Now also you can use like the Pilot Juice Up, for example, in in this body. So if you like that. If you like that Synergy tip, but you don't want an erasable ink, you could totally use a Juice Up refill inside. So that's another little tip for you. So let me, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to talk to you about in the planner part. I think that's probably it for this part. So many new, new fun things I can't even keep track. So um, these, let's see. I know what I want to talk about next. A sticker that we started stocking in the last, oh, I don't know, it was probably last summer, are the press, the Apri pressed flower stickers. I love these. I use them every day. I use them in my journaling pages. So this is my journal. I use my journal 
in inside this B6 leather cover. I mean, like this is like really private stuff, so I obviously don't want to like open it up. But I most of my journal pages I will use these pressed flower stickers to um, you know decorate them and. Epri is great. They're always coming out with more designs. In fact, there's even several more designs on the way. And I just cannot say enough good things about the pressed flower stickers. Like, look at these maple leaves. They're just gorgeous. I love them. The lilac. Oh, I just love it so much. So I'm totally enthusiastic about those stickers. And I really do use them nearly every day. Now, these... These are not that new, but they still bring me joy all the time. The copper index clips. So let me go back here and kind of show you how they can look in there. So do you see those? Those, how they, you know, the tabs can just stick out like that. It's, they're, it's just lovely and it's minimalist and I... I really like that. And then you can see I'm working on some cognitive behavioral <laughs> training. <laughs> it's probably too much information. Okay, so, oh, I should mention this King Jim sticker album is another like newish thing to our store. And well, you know, this was a customer requested this, maybe a couple customers. I had never heard of it. We went and checked them out. They're available in several different colors. We've got them on the store and they seem to be doing well. So we'll keep stocking these. And, you know, they're just perfect if you, you know, to have, I think they call it an adult sticker album. <laughs> but I've been really enjoying that as a way to kind of corral my stickers. This is a Kita album. So we sell these and we sell the Kita. And yeah, I've just been using this like crazy too. So happy about both of those things. Let's see what else I want to tell you about. Oh, yes. This is one of my all-time new favorite pens. <laughs> so this is the Dr. Grip 4 Plus 1. Now this is now available in a 0.3 ink um, tip size. So let me show you how gorgeous these new pastel body colors are. Ugh, they're so pretty. I I am just obsessed with this like beigey one. They actually call it I think something weird like pale orange. I call it beige. Let me make sure I'm focused here. So, but I have a very hard time. I mean, look at this blue gray. Every single color is so pretty. Now, if you're like, look, 0.3 acro ink, that is way too fine for me. I do not want ink that fine. No problem. You put, you know, a thicker refill size in there. They take the same Dr. Grip multi refills that they've always taken, but I happen to love the 0.3 lead. I love the 0.3 ink size. Now you won't be able to change the lead size, but you would, you would be able to put a thicker ink tip in there if you wanted. So if you just love this, these body colors like I do, just change it up. You can also do hacks with this pen. So, you know, I, I think there's a lot of ways to use this gorgeous body if you're into it. I'm using it just as it came right now just because I'm finding that I am loving that and yeah that's I'm, I'm really all about the path of least resistance right now so I do little hacks here and there but I'm also just trying to appreciate things for as they are and test them out for things you know as they are and then I find the perfect uses for them and just end up feeling really happy with them. And I don't know why I started sounding philosophical about pens. I will get back to reality here. <laughs> I sounded like I'm describing the, um, the Tao, like the, the, <laughs> the path of like least resistance or something. Okay. So a couple other, there's a couple, there's some new jet streams in, in the past, like se several months that I've just been loving. So this this one, um, 
I don't think I have mine here. I just have these packaged ones. But especially the olive green one, I have just been loving these. This is just like the same great jet stream ink that you probably have used and loved. Some of you I know have only tried this pen through the free pen you get with your Hobonichi. And so some people call this the Hobonichi pen, but this is a uh, jet stream. And it just comes in these beautiful body colors and the the metal on these is only down in the grip part and not in the whole barrel so it is ergonomic and stays overall lightweight but, but with more weighting toward the bottom which is what helps make it ergonomic and really comfortable to use and so i have the um, olive green one and I have just been loving that one as well and again you can put whatever tip size you want in it it comes with 0.5 but it's like whatever you want you can put in there and then finally the the Jetstream Edge which you really should look at the whole series of them but the Jetstream Edge is this new fantastic like innovative tip that comes in 0.28, but it also comes in 0.38 now, which is really exciting. And the thing I was really excited about is one of my customers requested that we sell the three color version. And you know, at first I was like, oh, I actually didn't order that because I thought it was like ugly. And then I don't know how, this totally grew on me, this, this pen. I don't know why I didn't bring mine out here. I use it all the time. So this, let's see. What I love about this is the way you extract the, the tip. Look at that like fine tip. It's so awesome. You should, for all of this stuff, go look. I have swatches on the site and go check them out. But it is like, if you like to do tiny writing, which I do, you know, when I'm filling out forms, I love to be able to do tiny characters, but I also like in my certain areas of my planner, I will use tiny writing and I just love these. And I really love, I for one of my planners in particular, I use this three color one and I just have been really appreciating it. Why don't I zoom in and just give you a little swatch so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about here, but... I'm kind of leaning over the notebook awkwardly, but I mean, like, look how tiny and, like, fine you can write with this. It's just, it's, it's pretty mind-blowing. But you can use points, you know, you can use a thicker tip size in these if you if the 0.28 is too fine for you um but yeah so i have been really into those well i think that you know there's so many new things so definitely check out all of the <laughs> the new stuff on our site oh this is totally my so this is the ill milli rest friction stamp. So that's sort of been my theme for the last few months because I realized I'd been really just like burning myself out for probably like two decades. <laughs> so I've been trying to take it a little bit easier on myself lately, especially just with all of the extra, the extra stuff, the extra load that everybody has during this pandemic. But yeah, I, I really invite you to go take a look at our site and all of the new stuff that we have gotten in because even though I haven't been doing videos for a while, we've just been really busy with getting new product in, shipping out orders. Because of the pandemic, like our efficiency had to go down because we had to work like really safely, like almost in silos. That is now getting to normalize more for us. So let me just give you a little bit of a handful of updates for Tokyo Pen Shop because I know some of you have been following us a really long time and are probably curious. So our whole staff, there are five of us. We're all very healthy and feeling really good. 
and we're just doing our best right now. <laughs> I think everybody's happy and happy that we've been able to work through the pandemic and we've been able to work safely. We we're still seeing some, so we're getting out orders pretty like more efficiently now, but we're still seeing some strange regional postal delays. So for the most part, orders are going out and reaching customers quickly and in a normal time frame. Every once in a while, we will have an order get stuck at a regional facility for like a ridiculous amount of time. And so this is just a reality that we're dealing with right now. It's something that's good to know if you order from us. I mean, there's a 99% chance your order is gonna go through as normal, but there is still, if you're ordering anything through postal mail right now, there is a chance that it's going to get stuck at a regional facility. It does eventually progress and make its way to you, but it's just something good to know. If you're local, we've resumed local pickup, so feel free to email customer service if you need the local pickup code. Let's see what else. Oh yes, this is very exciting. Um, we purchased our building. So we were renting in this building. We were renting our warehouse office space and we love the building so much and the building owner wanted to sell it. And what was really awesome about buying the building is that we were able to expand. So we're now in twice as much space as we were before, which is fantastic and good news. And you know, when you own the building you're in, you have control of more things like how updated your HVAC is and all that. And so I don't think you wanna hear all about the boring stuff like that, but we're very excited and happy about it. And we have more like comfortable office space now, which is really nice because we were starting to feel like we were all crammed in the warehouse and we were working on shifts because of the pandemic and it was just kind of frustrating for a while, but it's all like awesome now. Let's see what other thing would I want to tell you guys about? Oh yeah, international shipping. International shipping can still be weird. So it's just like domestic shipping where like most things have gone back to normal, but there are still some countries that are holding the packages for like an, a ridiculous amount of time when they enter the country. But I, I think part of it might be because of backup and like short staff. So it's not, when I say ridiculous, it's not really ridiculous. It's just like what people are having to deal with right now. The other thing that I think a lot of people aren't understanding is worldwide air traffic is still reduced like hugely. And that's how, you know, mail gets from the US to Europe or, you know, the US to Asia. So, What's happening is packages will be like at the Chicago International Airport, kind of like stuck there for quite a while while they're waiting for space on a plane. So that's why, you know, you might, you might find yourself ordering from us internationally and like it could take you know, much longer than you thought to get your package. Now, again, most packages are, are going as normal. It's just something to be mindful of right now. And I think that's just gonna be the reality through the end of the pandemic. Well, I feel like I got like really wordy, but I just really wanted to update you guys and touch base with you guys. And I appreciate that you're still here for talking about fun Japanese stationary goodies. And I hope you're all doing really well and that you're healthy. Have a great rest of your week, weekend. I don't know exactly when this will go out and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.